This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Finals began here, postseason play. We see the five seed Bishop Ireton up against the four seed Paul the six. These two teams met once in VA, about VA. It was Paul the six that won. Injuries though for Bishop Ireton at that time. They're fully healthy now, and this should be a very interesting four or five matchup. The winner will see the next matchup winner, Bishop McNamara, or us Bishop Carroll, out of the nation's capital of DC. About to get underway. We got to see Paula Six a couple weeks ago at home against St. John's. A very competitive matchup. Matchup where the standings was close. Good counsel able to rise up. Overtake Paula Six in that three spot. And that's why we have this four or five matchup now. And the tip off goes. Here to Paul the six first. Over the shore as we get things started. Swings it to Williams. Back over the hammer. They swing it around. Inside ball low. Tug it over. And back comes the Lady Cardinal. Looking pass inside. Block there. And back to the Lady Panthers here. They come down the court. Looking up. Lay up. Go. Lewis Williams, with that one. Quick 2 nothing lead here yeah, for the Panthers. We'll have an update on the men's WCAC action going on at Gallup University in D.C. Throughout our four matchups here at the Master today. Pull up jumper. Yes. He was a score. Two. Bishop Ireton at the She Got Game against Polly. And an amazing matchup there. But the engineers are from Ball Motors up there. Graham got it in there and tied it. We tied it two. No, excuse me. It's 42. Yeah, Paul the six. What a game that was. We've mentioned it with Polly and Bishop Ireton. Ireton came back, took the win by two. Swings it. Brooks. The dribble. She was a big factor in that matchup and a big factor throughout the year. That's Pat Williams with the steal. Williams got up there out of bounds and Paul is 6 16. Six, 17 here left in the first quarter. Looking here back. Inside, no, the roll didn't go. Williams, again, her 
presence felt in the middle of the rebound. Hamburger. Six to two, your score. Here for four and six and four. On the Dyson Network, you can always tweet us at Dyson Network. Email on TV 22 to gmail.com, the cash and money side, Dyson Network, Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube, Dyson Network. And we appreciate you all out there, all our subscribers. Right now, 8 2 is your score in this one. WCAC quarterfinals here, the semis played. Here at Technically Later Today, Sunday. At American, and back to the old school format of the WCHC as things have gotten back to normal somewhat with the pandemic. Brooks for three! Big time shot! The sophomore with a big time bucket there. Eight to five is four. Brooks again with it. Brooks to the basket and a foul. First team foul on either side. They're going to call it on Williams. Foul starts to Riley Hamburger. Shooting foul. Riley Brooks will shoot two. Two shots here. And the first shot in there. Nailed it. Coming up, McAmara, top seed, undefeated for a second straight year in the regular season playing the WCAC. Second. Official girl, David Fisher, on 8-9 match shot on Thursday in the first round. That's a three again. Off the top, no good. Rebound there. That's the lead, 11-7 now. Here for call the six up four. Girls teams don't play here. The side the road did not go. Who's rebound there? Back to the she got the rebound. And there we go. Back to Williams. Look in here. Inside. Williams up top. Off the side, no good. And a rebound back. The ball is it. Looking the other way. Inside. He was there. We thought that was the second. That's a big deal there. 
the big fan to the Score. Ball is six to four seed in front, that's a foul out. Shoot two. Two shots coming up here at the line. Shoot the foul, charge to Lewis Falker. Lewis Falker, that's her. Mary Anderson will shoot two. Second shot. Rolls away. One of two. And it comes to lead here to Boyd. One possession game. Still. Back over. Look at it. Double spins out of it. Swings it back. That's a three. Tip the miss. Pat it around. Rebound back. To Ireton. Underway from the map of the one time a year, girls basketball is played here in High Through Hill Madison Street. WCAC quarterfinal. Let's see top eight top teams left in the WCAC. 
Hooks a three. Short. Ball hit around. Ball rolls. And the Panthers get it. Top. That's a turnover. Back the other way. Here comes Ireton. That's a trap. They call, but the right call. The ball back to Paul the six with 7.33 remaining here in the first half. First of four here at the Mantle. Paul is it last Saturday. A struggle. Inside, up top. That's all. Six in front. Layup goes in. Seventeen, fourteen to score. Final lead late in the first. Seventeen, thirteen. Looking back. What a fucking day. Lay back the five for the Panthers. Up top. A good ball going back the other way. Shot clock at five. Pull up. No good. Offensive rebound. That was huge there. Good again, ball back to ball to set. Ball to six in. Bishop McNamara. It'll be a rematch of last year's semis. Between the two and good counsel St. John's of Bank. We match this semi-final match of a year ago. That's right. Foul is called there. Foul is charged for the very nice. 548 remaining here Michael. in the first half. Look in here. Here by ball six. That's a three. Shooting three. Second team foul on our team. Shooting foul. Charles in favor of Washington. Washington steps with the foul. That's her. By the hammer, will shoot three. Hamburger will be flipping three of them at the line. First shot. And then. Second shot off top of it. Third shot here. Now got two of them. Right. 21 14 is the score. Inside, swings it back. Stays with Iverson. Shot City. Anderson looking to inbound. Long pass, got it inward. Shot clock at 10 to Iverson. Looking to drive, dish. Inside, too hard there. And stays with Iverson. They get a press shot clock. Look 
working here. Thirty-two left here in the first half. Jumper short, but Brooks knocked it out. And Paul the six is good. A late Valentine's Day gift. I said these two Virginia schools will. Could meet again in the VISAAs. Ball to six is the top seat there. Iverson is the third seat. Lead behind Blue Ridge is the second, I believe. Shot clock with time on it. These ball six don't have to rush it. Inside to Williams, where you want it. Off the top, it was a little high there. And Brooks with the rebound. Williams, very interesting match up there. And Sarge, he got it in there. And our return with injury. Go to ball six. 
We're down to 48 seconds left. We're in there. About to get underway here between Paul and Stick and Bishop Ryerson on the girls' side. Boys, and it's tied at 33 at the break. That gallant between the Matha is here against Bristol O'Connor. And that one didn't go. Paul and Stick gets it back. Four point lead here. And this one. rebound when that loss to Sidwell Friends, the game we had last week in the season finale of the Catholic League Series. Ball stays with Ireton here on this end. Brooks with it and then swings it back. Fakes it inside, up top, and it rolls away. Fakes it. Off the foot, out of bounds. Lost it. Ball 
stage again with Ironton. It was tapped out by Paul the Six. Got it back. Looking inside, floats it up. Short, offensive rebound briefly. Came down on it. And it's back to Paul the Six now. Shores dribbles out of it. Partner blocked. See them for the first time this year against our friends at St. John's and first shot in it. And good counsel. Amazing run in the WCAC back this season. We see them against St. Mary's Riken. You get to see Riken for the first time since they played Polly up at McDonough back at the uh, prize. Shot here, nailed it. One of two. Bolter, the one. Makes the lead now. A one point one. Hook, fake, drive. Falls everywhere, lost it on the deck. Back the other way inside the deck. Two. And the lead now back up. Brooks inside. A roll did not go. Got it around. Offensive rebound. will take place. We'll have an update for you from that end for the games we have known about. And then next week, depending, we'll be back maybe in this area of colors for the quarterfinals of the Maryland Private School Basketball Tournament. NBSSA end of the week coverage of the BCL back in Baltimore. Quarters, semi, and final. Desiree Ashton checks in for Bishop Ironton. Season coming down the stretch.
Smith now, about a couple of weeks left. Full season play will fully take over here. Ireton with it now, down three, shot clock at 20. Looking here, going. Swings it, turnover. Pass is too short. The ball back to Paul Six, still up three. to the basket, rolls away. Here we are. Boots bring it up here. Both thing down here for our team. Spins, dish, inside, play a boat. Three down to one. Team left 
five point lead here. Brian. Inside. Nice finish. Rifles fourth quarter about to get underway here from Samantha. And enough for Paul to six, you know. Uh, Ireton trying to close in the lead. They tied it a couple times. Paul to six and never let the lead get away from them. And they're up five still here in the fourth. 37 32 is the score. The winner will see the winner of the next matchup between Paul to six, excuse me, between Bishop Magamar and Officer Carroll. Getting Paul to six. Coming to the table. Paul the six win and McNamara win. We we matched this semifinal matchup of a year ago. And the council and St. John's win will be match it there. Second round match with four teams in the same position as was in a year ago as well. Two shots here at the line. First shot. Nailed it. Creamer. 
Look in, look in, look in. Back. Pull up jumper. Nail it. Shot, nail it. Come 
no cooler. We have McNamara and Carroll on the girls' side coming up. Seton St. John's, Good Council St. Yeah. Now we're back to Mall, I said, with the MIA B Conference Final. B Conference at St. Mary's. That would be a question. Conference, the rivalry game. Seconds left here on the shot clock. And it's a lineup. Myerson, Mike, back in, and Stephen Brooks back in the game. They got her double. Back. Shot clock at 10. Screen. Looking. Drive. Floater. Throws away. Head it around. Hammer with the rebound. It's
Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?